Kuntandi kwa ya mwaka guno, kampuni ya Mahathi Uganda Limited, yatani kwa kuleta mafuta, ngegaisa kunyanja na rubale, ngekoze semeri, emanyidu anga kawaka mtebio woku bili, okusobola kutasaba na Uganda, kuchizibu cha mafuta, eshitero kubela o, nga mawanga agaturinanyi, gagude mobu sandali. Olwa lero tutuseko kumwale kawuku e watu kire merieno ne tuwa yamu na abadu kanyo mnimu guno. Engeli je gutamblamu no kumanyo muendo kwa mafta aga ingira. Obaga sobolo kumalako no weta vubetulina wano mguanga. Jibatu tegele zanti Uganda e sobola no kugaba mafta. Mumawanga gomu liruano. Is uh, the fuel from Kisumu to the shores uh, here uh, in Kawuku bring it to the tanks uh, for further distribution into the hinterland and uh, into the countries surrounding this like uh, DRC, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan. That's, that's a basic concept of the whole project. Is, uh, basically we are looking at what is being imported uh, within the Kenya and Ugandan uh, partnership with the port of Mombasa and how quickly it can be availed at the retail point. So with uh, our capacity here, we envision we can do up to 150 million liters in a month, which is more than enough for what uh, is required in the market. So yes, uh, that fuel can be readily available to our facility. Akulira kampuni eno, Dinesh Donaldi, atutegeze zanti, kampuni ya mahathi, edina tanka za mafta kuminanya, ngabulie mu, eguela mulita za mafta, obuka densamvu, edanti, gojeke meri kawaka mtebe uo kubili, waliwe meri endala satu, ezgendo kuzimbwa, ngeyo kubili, enetero kugwa, nge inobu wamvu, wamita, bibili atano mukaga. In tanks, uh, with, uh, which can store four products, that's uh, AZO, PMS, uh, kerosene, and uh, Jet A1 fuel. That's aviation turbine fuel. Uh, with a total storage capacity of 70 uh, million liters. That's one part of the whole project. Then the second part is a barge, which is 256 meters long, uh, which we can say is the longest uh, jetty, uh, birthing jet, jetty in uh, Lake Victoria. Okusinzira kudenesha gambanti, omuli mugwa na gwali gwa kugwa mbanga tono, na yoruwe bigwa bitala ze, omumwe mwajira echirade cha COVID-19, era cha tataga nyanyo emili mjiawe, nebamale banga nga tebakola, nga yensongarua chine mtsera chino, wachariwe bitana gwa. ...thing of this project, which is uh, the end of 2018, uh, we have gone ahead uh, with this project, uh, but in spite of uh, uh, the so many challenges which have come up, uh, like uh, the COVID and the supply disruptions associated with that. And finally, we are here where you can see the project uh, in a complete state. Denish Wabuzi Dwa Obama after Tegako Sabu Tonde Wansi, Wamune Nyanja, Kosanaba and Tuavali Nanyewo, Agambienti, Bwebali Bazi Mbe Merienu, Binobyo Na, Baso Kakubie Kenenya, Elani Bazi Zengeli Yona, Ama after Jigai Nzo Kukose Nyanja na Rubali, Kosanobu Tonde. Oil, which is separated, is taken back to the tanks of the uh, uh, after doing all the new tests, uh, the other things. And the water, treated water, is let out into uh, the your surface water drainage system. Uh, but before sending it to that, it passes through an oil content meter, which continuously monitors the oil within that uh, effluent water. If it is anything more than le uh, or less than 10 ppm, then only the water is let out into the surface drain. If the oil content within that effluent water is more than 10 ppm, then that water automatically, there is a three-way wall, motorized wall, which actually controls the flow, that automatically is taken back into the treatment system. Ona gamba nti, ne wankuba domu limu guno gugenda bukwaku, na ye era waliwe viva somo ze bitono tono, wabula angabia nguo kugonjolwa, era angatebile mesa mlimu kutambula. Singe meri endaleri mkuzimbwa mchifochino, enebe wede, cha kukendele za dara kubei ya mafta, elinyabu lirucha, wano mguanga. So, uh, of the efficiencies that we are realizing here, um, it basically will render the other um, traditional uh, modes of uh, transportation and storage um, 
more or less unnecessary because uh, of uh, the redundancy. So from here, uh, we believe that uh, looking at all the operational efficiencies and the turnaround of the fuel through the facility, um, it will bring a lot of benefit, uh, additional benefit to the, to the whole uh, Uganda uh, fuel supply chain. Shafiq Alfad, Omumbeja Grace Nasolo, Delta TV, Amasukulum.